Hello everyone and welcome back to NP Station. This is part 18 in the Coding for Kids in Python video series. So today we're going to be having some fun doing the fun activities of chapter 6. And trust me, you want to stay tuned to the end of this video because we're going to be making a lot of fun animations using the turtle module. But before we continue on with um, in Python, I actually wanted to mention this amazing organization called Girls Into Coding. The CEO and founder of this um, company is a 12-year-old girl named Avye. So um, this company, Girls Into Coding, provides girls ages 10 to 14 with very unique hands-on experience in physical computing, robotics, and also coding. So Girls Into Coding actually hosts these free workshops and educational events that are led by a range of STEM educators and mentors. And some of them are in the same age range as the girls attending the workshops. So I will actually be attending the upcoming workshop um, from Girls in Girls Into Coding, which will be hosted on January 31st, 9 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I have put the link in the description box. Please do check that out. It will take you to their official website. And please do enroll yourself in some of their workshops. And guess who's going to be talking as a guest speaker on January 31st? It's actually Samira Mehta, so I'm definitely excited to be also hearing from her as well. But yes, please do check out their website. Now I know that was a lot of talking, so how about we start coding in the turtle module. Hello everyone and welcome back to Unpeat Station. So as you can see, we um, I have the Chapter 6 Fun Activities Notebook open here in Google Collab. So I will be putting this link, or I have put this link in the description box down below so you can access it. Um, basically, I have written all of the activities um, there are six activities from chapter six and they're all over here. So in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys maybe a couple of them. We'll do them together and the rest you will be able to do on your own. So yeah, let's get started. But unfortunately, I wanted to let you guys know that Google Collab does not support the turtle module. So you won't be able to run any of this code here. Um, I've just written the directions and all of the code you need to write is in bold. Basically, you could copy and paste it um, into idle. I, re I recommend, you know, writing it on your own. But yeah, make sure you have an idle file um, open on your computer as well so you can follow along with me. But let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and open up my f idle sh um, file. So I've actually, we're going to start off with activity number one, which is let's draw a star. So now that we've learned about the turtle module and what it can do, we're going to draw a star in this activity. So we'll actually create a small prog um, program that can do this for us. So first, what you guys would have to do is, you know, go over here oh, in this um, box and type in idle you'd open a new file by clicking file new file and I want you guys to save it as star so and make sure to save it in a folder where you can access easily and yeah let's get started I've already saved my file called star and let's type in the first line of code which is to import the turtle module so just go ahead and write import turtle now we're going to go ahead and set the color mode to 255. Turtle.color mode, and in parentheses, write 255. Now we're going to create a pen variable and assign it a turtle object. So this makes it easier to understand that we're drawing something instead of dealing with the turtle. So pen equals turtle.turtle. .turtle. Make sure that second turtle the T is capitalized, and now you um, need to empty parentheses. So now how about we choose some RGB values for a shade of yellow you like, or choose a different color. Now for this activity, I'm going to use bright yellow um, for my star. So to do that, write pen.color, and in parentheses, 255, 215, and 0. These are the RGB values to create a nice bright yellow star. So let's also change the pen size so our star is nice and visible. So you can choose whatever size you want. I'm just going to go ahead and choose, um, how about five? Oh. So pen dot pen size, and in parentheses, write that number you would like for this size. 
So now go ahead and hide the shape so we can see our star a bit better. To do that, write pen.ht. This ht right here basically stands for, you know, hide turtle. Um, turtle is the object we are using. So we want to see only our star and um, that's why we would have to hide the turtle. So now let's start drawing. Uh, we'll move our pen forward by 100, and, or 100 units, and then we're going to turn our pen 144 degrees to the right. So we'll do this five times to create a five-pointed star. So go ahead and write this code. Pen dot forward, 100, pen dot right, 144. So this 100 over here stands for how many pixels you're going to move the pen forward. This 144 here stands for how many degrees you're going to turn your pen to the right. So go ahead and write that um, four more times. And then we're going to run our code together and we're going to see how our star turns out. All right, so this is the code we need to write. Um, actually, so one thing I just want to tell you guys is you want to repeat this five times, but actually the fifth you know, paragraph, um, you're going to delete that pen dot write. You don't really need that uh, because you're not going to be drawing after. So this is all you need to write basically to create the star. So go ahead and copy this code into your idle. You can go ahead and pause this video um, if you want to write all of this in your file. But yeah, now we're finished. So go ahead and save your code by pressing the Control and S keys together. And then press the F5 key to see your star drawn in front of you. So I'm going to go ahead and click F5 and let's see what we get. Look at that. We got a perfect bright yellow star. Isn't that amazing? Well, just a little kind of um, activity, a bonus thing for you guys. Can you optimize the code above right here that we wrote to use a for loop instead? Because you may have noticed we repeated all of this five times. So how about you guys write a for loop instead to make it a little bit more simple to write this code. So that's actually all for activity one. It was pretty simple and it was really fun though, right? Um, I really loved our star that we drew. It looks amazing. So how about I'm gonna now move on to another activity here. So let's see. How about we do activity number two, which is fortune teller. So um, yeah, let's get started on this. What we're gonna do is actually create a fortune teller and it's amazing, it's really fun. You can show this to your family and friends as well. So I'm gonna go ahead back to my idle shell. I'm gonna click on file, new file. And here what I'm going to do is um, create a new file called fortune teller and save it. So within the um, within it, we need to import the turtle module and the random module. But first, click on the Control S keys. It's going to ask you where to save it. Um, I'm in the right spot, so I'm going to do Fortune Teller. That's what it's called. And go ahead and click Save. Awesome. So now it's saved in that specific folder I want it to be saved in. So now let's go ahead and import the turtle module. And also the random. Okay, so now we need to create a new copy of the turtle object and call it pointer. So you can leave it as the default arrow shape because that's what we'll need. Also, let's set its size. So we need to write pointer equals turtle dot turtle empty parentheses. The next thing you're going to do is set its size. So pointer dot turtle size. And then in parentheses, you're gonna write three, three, two. 
make sure you put the commas in, in between. All right, so now we're gonna create another copy of the turtle object and call it a pen. So we'll use this to create our fortune teller board. So to do that, write pen equals turtle dot turtle, empty parentheses. So finally, create a variable to hold your spinner amount and use the random module to pick a random number. So spin underscore amount equals random dot randant and then in parentheses write the numbers one comma three sixty okay so now lift your pen so it doesn't start drawing so we only because we only want it to draw the spots we tell it to right so to do that you need to write pen dot pen up empty parentheses so now we need to use the go to function to move our pen to the four sides of our screen. On each side, write some answers that your for fortune teller pointer can land on. Now these can be simple yes or no answers or silly ones like never in a million years. So to help you out, I've actually provided the coordinates for the four sides of the screen. So let me go ahead, save this file. I'm actually going to show you Okay, so right here, these are the um, coordinates that are provided. So as you see in the parentheses here, I've written like where it's going to say this. So this is gonna be on the right side, this is the left side. This part is from on the top and this is the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, basically copy all of this code into my idle and then I'm going to come back to you guys and we'll see what, we'll ask some questions to our fortune teller and yeah, let's see what answers we get. All right, so as you guys can see, I have all of the code we need um, written in the IDO file. So I have four paragraphs here, each for one um, you know, section of the screen. I highly recommend you guys also copy this exact code onto your IDO file and make sure to also write these comments. It will be very useful, especially if you want to you know, make changes to the code. If you want to um, you know, not write yes, you could have any type of theme for this fortune teller. An example could be um, the question for your fortune teller could be like, what is your future pet? And instead of writing yes, absolutely not, and all of that, you could write animals. So like dog, cat, unicorn, dolphin, so, and you can also change the font and the font size as well. So let me explain basically what I have written here. So as you can see, the first is pen dot go to 200 comma zero. That's basically telling where the pen to go to. And this, these is basically the coordinates for where to write this um, word. And then we have pen dot pen down, meaning to actually start writing, that's what you would write. And then, I have what the pen should write over here in the parentheses. So it's gonna write yes. And then I also declared the font. I also given the font and also the pen size or the font size, sorry. And basically that's the same format as everything else. It just has a different um, word that it's going to be printing out and also a different coordinate. So it'll be um, on different sections of the screen. So now actually, finally we need to spin, or we have to pass our spin amount variable into your pointer's left or right function to make it spin a certain direction. As you can see, we had declared our spin amount variable up here. What we're gonna do is pass that spin amount um, into the pointer's left or right function. Okay, so to do that, go ahead and write pointer dot left or you could write um you could do left or right any direction you want the spinner to spin and then in pr you're going to open parentheses and write spin amounts oh and um it's spin underscore amount close the parentheses so yeah you can of course change this to left or right whichever section you want that um whichever direction you want the spin or pointer to spin. But yeah, let's go ahead and save this file and run it. Let's see what we get. Okay, so this is just a little error I got before, um, but I fixed it. But yeah, so here is our output. So we have our four phrases here. 
Um, maybe, absolutely not. Yes, but after 50 years and yes. So as you can see right here, this is actually our spinner or our pointer. And once I run this again, it's actually going to spin. And how about I ask it this a question? Um, how about, okay, yeah, I really want a puppy. And I'm going to ask, am I going to get a dog this summer? So let's click F. Oh, I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to click F5 again. Let's see what I get. Oh no, <laughs> I got yes, but after 50 years. Okay, that's that's sad. Um, I really, really want a dog, but you know, this is just for fun and you should definitely show it to your friends and family. It's definitely a very fun game and it's awesome, right? That you can actually create um, your own fortune teller with the turtle module. You can create amazing animations and drawings like that star we did. And there's so many more activities, guys, that um, you can... You can do there is actually three with the rainbow turtles which is really fun you basically create like um seven turtles each with a different color here's circleception toby's house where you're actually creating a house for your turtle um and this is writing in python so here i've just given an example where you can actually write your name in any font any size you would like so it is really really fun to do this as well um and yeah you should definitely play uh, this fortune teller game that i showed you with your family and friends they'll love it for sure but yeah that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it um i definitely had a lot of fun creating or drawing a star and creating a fortune teller it was really fun but that's all for today's video. I'll be back next time on NP Station with another coding video. And please, please keep an eye out for my live books and beyond live sessions because those, um, there'll be another one coming out soon. So yes, please, please um, feel free to take part of those live sessions. Please join us. It's just really fun getting to know more about the guest author or guest entrepreneur. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye everyone. Stay safe.